Hello, welcome to Build Basics, Basics to Last a Lifetime. This is our social media campaign. This campaign is created by Justin Cha, Cole Dengler, Nicole Smart, and Kelly Twitchell. The plan for today is to tell you guys about our brand strategy, which will include a SWOT analysis and brand narrative, our target market and objectives, which will be made up of our target audience, key messages, and marketing objectives. Then we will tell you about our social media strategy, which will include channel-specific approaches, content campaigns, paid media plans, KPIs, and a timeline. And then finally, we'll conclude with an influencer approach, where we'll talk about current built ambassadors and potential ambassadors that we have scoured the social media for. You asked and we delivered. We distributed $100,000 of our annual budget to improve built brand awareness and reach target audience. We created a social media marketing campaign to attract the existing male market and to the new emerging female audience. First, we'll talk about our brand strategy. After evaluating our current strengths and weakness as a brand, we have determined our strengths is that we have a male dominant market, we're active on all social media platforms, we have 24 brand ambassadors, we are inclusive to racial minorities in our promotional content, and that we have strong SEO, and that we have a good customer service reputation. For our weaknesses, we've noticed that although that we are active on all social media platforms, we do lack social media presence. Most of our content on social media tends to be advertisement instead of owned content. Our posts, while numerous, they do lack a personality, a sense of flair that would keep consumers coming and interacting with us on these social media platforms. And even though we have a male dominant market, we do want to try breaking into the female market and that our products themselves care too much to men. And another issue is that we have expensive pricing while our reviews claim to say that we have low quality products. For our opportunities and threats, we notice that there is a large female presence in the market which provides us an opportunity to tap in. We also have the ability to create a strong social media campaign across all platforms. And we could potentially get more influencers for our marketing campaigns and that since we have a low shipping cost, we are very attractive to the casual consumer. Threats to our brand is that we've noticed that there's a lot of other brands that inhabit the same space or market. Due to the UI UX of our site, it is hard for us to easily access customer feedback and sentiment towards our brand, and that we tend to be inflexible towards new market trends. Okay, so moving on to the overall brand strategy for Built Basics, we wanted to create a narrative that highlights the purpose of this brand. Our goal is to show how built is more than just basic clothing. Our narrative states that clothing is more than just pieces of fabric put together. It's a combination of colors, styles, and different types of fabric that create the perfect look. It's a way to reinvent, express, create, and stand out from the rest of the crowd. Finding the right style representing one's true self is pivotal. It influences the way you feel and how you carry yourself. What you wear represents and reflects who you are. When you look good, you feel good. Your personal style is a way to introduce who you are without even having to speak. The idea that basics are boring is outdated. They're the foundation of every good outfit. The problem is that they don't last. The emphasis on luxury fashion created a gap in the basics market. Most basics don't last beyond two to three weeks. Built basics purpose for existing is simple to create basics that last and are flexible to your lifestyle. We believe that you can have it all and more. You deserve an upgraded life in premium style. Whether you're heading to the gym, running errands, or getting ready for your first day at your new job, our basics are designed to support and move with you, no matter the destination. We're redefining what it means to be basic and changing the way consumers view clothing essentials by offering premium basics that are both higher quality and priced affordably. We continually test and alter our fabric and products to bring you the best products and experiences because you were built for more. Next, we're gonna talk about the target market and objectives. So how can Built cater more towards women? Well, they can be more inclusive, expand women's clothing, and partner with female influencers. By being more inclusive, the company can make sure all of its customers feel welcome and accepted. Catering towards women, this will leave Built with more success. If the company stays catering to just mostly men, 
then they're not being inclusive and will not make as much money overall. By expanding women's clothing, Built can provide more items for women to choose from instead of just the basic joggers, hoodies, tanks, and crop tees. If you look at the website, you can see the products they have for women versus the products they have for men, and it's drastically different. They have much more for men. They should be selling shorts for women, t-shirts, sports bras, jackets, and so much more, just like they are for men. Expanding this will make their overall sales improve and get women to shop with them more. Also, when partnering with female influencers, sales will rise because customers are more likely to buy a product if it is shown on an influencer. Catering towards women is something Built needs to focus on to drive sales and show love for everyone. Who is the target audience? Men 25 to 45 years old who have a interest in fashion and fitness and women age 18 to 30 who have an interest in sweating, whether that's a yoga, gym, going on a walk, going on a run, but they also enjoy fashionable workout clothes. Between the men and women, these age ranges like to work out approximately three times a week for no longer than about an hour each time. Our target audience may say something like, I'm looking for clothes that I can wear working out and to dinner right after. But this is where Built Basics comes into play. Built offers premium basics that are both higher quality and priced affordably for those that enjoy a workout and like to use the clothes for other outings besides just working out. Our key messages, um, we did one for women and one for men, which are our target audience. So women, as Built grows, they will continue to represent women equally with clothes that are unique, comfortable, fashionable, and affordable. The men key message, as Built grows, they will continue to sell basics that last for a lifetime and are flexible to your own lifestyle. And we have three marketing objectives The first one, if Built wants to increase women's sales throughout the company by including more apparel and showcasing women's involvement in ads. If a female customer sees more females in ads to represent that brand specifically, they're more likely to purchase from the company. If female customers are just seen, um, for like example, like Built, a lot of the um, clothing is catered towards men. Um, And females aren't showcased in a lot of their ads. So a female is not likely to purchase from the company because they see men associated with ads a lot and that deters them away or they have no need to go and um, go online and see what the company is about, see if there's a product they like for themselves because with the ad showcasing it as men, they have no idea that there's even woman product available. So Bill wants to, wants to increase women's sales throughout the company by including more apparel and showcasing women's involvement in ads. If you put women in ads more, the um, woman t- target audience essentially will um, be more likely to purchase from them and increase the sales for women. Number two, increase involvement within the community. Women like a company that gives back to the community. A female is more likely to purchase from a company if they know the company gives back to the community. A lot of the time, a woman will purchase from a company just because they provide a percentage of sales to the community. Um, And to the community, meaning like just in a variety of ways, like homeless shelter, church, just all sorts of things. And our third marketing objective is each day, Built promises to produce comfortable basics for every activity. And next, we will um, talk about the social media strategy. The next part of our plan focuses on creating and implementing a social media strategy. The types of platforms we plan to use are Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. These are the largest performing, largest platforms for Built Basics already. Based on that data, we think these platforms work best since they have the highest number of followers, engagement, and can reach existing and new target audiences. The role of each platform is specific and different. Instagram is used frequently by individuals 18 to 34 years old. 
which will help Built Basics generate brand awareness and reach key markets. Facebook's role is to help Built Basics build their brand name through strong and engaging visual advertisements using paid media. Since the Built Basics TikTok account has the lowest engagement and following of the three, we feel the platform can play a role in brand awareness as well as showcase the built brand lifestyle through owned and user-generated content. A strategy we feel is best to implement across the platforms like Instagram and TikTok are creating content campaigns. We created two in the first one, hashtag built like a woman, creates a unique opportunity for Built Basics to reach and resonate with their target audience of women. Since their female market is relatively new, it would give the brand a chance to stand out by creating content, reposting content from users and using influencers to help showcase their line and also how diverse they are. The photo on the right is a sample of a diverse group of women wearing Built Basics. The hashtag built like a woman would be used in all the posts as well. Our next content campaign focuses more on building the Built Basics brand and experience overall. In conjunction with our brand narrative, creating and posting the campaign on all social platforms would give our audience and average consumers insight into what it is Built Basics does, specifically how they are more than just a basics company. This campaign would give Built the opportunity to show how much artistry and work goes into creating and improving each and every product. The content will focus on the design, production, and behind the scenes sneak peeks of the brand. Our goal with this content campaign is to give consumers insight into how this company is more than just basic. The process of the work Built does is intricate and focuses completely on consumer satisfaction. And they need to know that. These are two sample posts for the hashtag more than basics content campaign. The one on the left highlights the process of creating and selecting the premium fabrics. The one on the right is a sneak peek and behind the scenes of a photo shoot for an upcoming, upcoming women's clothing launch. This can showcase the technique and skill that goes into each and every photo. Aside from the content campaigns, the overall plan for built social media content is to focus on using original and user generated content. And looking at the Instagram feed of the Built Basics account, we noticed just how much content is posted and promoted by the brand. We want to shift from the short, from the sort of stock imagery and focus on users or influencers' experiences while wearing Built Basics. The overall content aesthetic should be neat, clean, and tidy. You want the accounts to focus on modern colors and themes, especially when it comes to user-generated and influencer content. Built clothing photos should remain minimal and clean. Essentially, we want everything to fit the brand aesthetic. Creating unique content is also important here because of the simple fact that it is unique. Many of the accounts don't get up close and personal with the quality and design of the fabric. We think consumers should see these tiny yet important details. For our paid media plan, we decided to allocate most of our budget towards Instagram seeing as Instagram is our most active and most popular social media platform. For our key placements, we decided to focus on sponsored posts, influencer posts, shop posts, and links. For our targeting, we each thought interest was the best way to go about it. For market and segmentation, we chose to focus on the psychographic and demographic uh, key audiences. For our audience, we realized that Instagram is mostly used by millennials and Gen Zs who tend to be on the older sides, who at this point in, in 2021 and be, tend to be in their 20s. The, for TikTok, since it is our second biggest following, we thought it was appropriate to sign $30,000 for the budget. For TikTok, we plan to use sponsored posts, influence posts, pre-roll videos, and links. For our targeting, we chose to focus on interests. Marketing segmentation, we chose to also focus on psychographic and demographic. For the audience, we realized that millennials and Gen Z, like Instagram, both use TikTok. And unfortunately, while we do have products tailored towards the younger children, we realize that younger children tend not to have money and would not spend as much on basic clothing as an older counterpart would. For Facebook, we decided to allocate $25,000 to its budget. For Facebook, we focused on sponsored posts, Facebook marketplace listings, story posts, 
and links. For targeting, we chose to focus on interests, market segmentation, once again, psychographic and demographic. And for our audience, since Facebook is tend to be popular with the older generation, we chose to focus on baby boomers, Gen X, and older millennials. For our key points of interest, our goals is to reach and interact with as many people as possible. By using our social media, we want to show that Built as a brand is not just a clothing store or company. It's a brand that is personable and wants to get to know their audience. For our audience, we are aiming for the people who use the social media the most. Each platform has their own independent user base. Instagram and TikTok is fairly popular with the younger crowd, while Facebook attracts an older user base. We want to cover all bases of age range as possible, aside from the younger audience. The younger being kid toddlers, kids, or infants. The KPIs that we'll be paying attention to the most and keeping track of their measurements would be the reach, the feedbacks, clicks, impressions, conversions, followers, mentions, and revenue. The duration of our tracking will last between January 1st, 2022 to December 31st, 2022. For our campaign's media timeline, we figured we'd post on every social media platform like Facebook, TikTok and Instagram on every day of the week. For Facebook, we tend to keep a steady, consistent schedule of two to three posts between the hours of 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. For Instagram, we want to do one to three posts between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. for most days until it's the weekend where we notice that a lot of younger people tend to stay up later and browse social media more often. So we will increase the time from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. For TikTok, uh, on Monday, we've noted Monday and Wednesdays, we've noticed that people tend to use the platform earlier in the day, so we decided to two or three posts from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. On Tuesday, Thursday, they tend to check later, so we did two to three posts from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. On Friday, we will do two to three posts with 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Because on Friday afternoons, most people who use TikTok tend to be out and about doing activities like hanging out or dancing or clubbing or what's or etc on saturday sundays we've noticed that people tend to wake up later from the friday after and they go back to a schedule of between 10 a.m to 6 p.m here are some sample posts that we would make on all the platforms that we mentioned the first picture is a tick is a sample tiktok picture that we thought would be appropriate for the second and third pictures, they're both Instagram posts, but one of them with a direct shop link, while the other ones are more personalized posts that will be captioned with something quick and humorous, maybe. And the last post, we chose to make a mock Facebook post that shows some attitude to hopefully drive engagement up between us and our audiences. Lastly, we will be covering the influencer market of Built. In a nutshell, a Built ambassador is able to provide professional feedback and the utmost support a few key current ambassadors that Built has and are Tennessee Titans wide receiver Golden Tate, Philadelphia Phillies Bryce Harper, and the Jack of All Trades Salema Mascala. Just by these three alone, you can tell that Built has a very star studded lineup. However, a few petition ambassadors include Morgan Vera who has 4.9 million TikTok followers, beating all three current ambassadors in any of their social media. Morgan Vera is an ideal ambassador. Best known in Canada, her and her boyfriend Lucas, who is pictured there with her, create fun, creative, and comedic TikToks. We believe that offering them both an op ambassador opportunity would help build substantially. Next would be Nali Uling. Created over her own fitness method, Nali Uling is an influence to be reckoned with. Natalie strives to create authentic stories and original content for her health and wellness clients. Lastly, we have Jessie Diaz Herrera. Since she was five, Jessie has lived in the dance world, having choreographed college shows, events for local artists. Jessie now teaches dance classes at NYC that are welcome to all body types and dance levels. She incorporates a body positive environment and affirmations. <laughs> Dip, 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 dip,